my channel so as I said in my last video I was coming back with the True Blue Deluxe Craft Pads so I've picked the Blossoming Bluebells and I'd just like to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed and that has taken part in my competition so I'd be won't be this it won't be when this video gets released that I'll be doing the, the draw or whatever. It'll be maybe following week. So it could be next Monday's video. So either Monday's video next week or it'd be Wednesday's video, I'm not too sure yet. So this card is going to be five by seven. So I've pre-cut the 5x7 card and I'm just cutting the mats and layers now. So that goes on to there. And then the card stock that I need from this one is not them, that's the front of it. That's the inserts. I think I'm gonna go with the blue blue bells, I think maybe or or mm, I don't know I've lost a sheet no I haven't there it is oh, I'm gonna come in with the bluebell one make my mind up so I need this to be four notches under the five and then four notches under the seven for this one. This is just a straightforward card, it's not tent fold, it's just a bog standard five by seven card. And this is a matastic as well, I forgot to say that. This kit is fantastic. I'm just coming in with my normal glues, tacky glue and all purpose glue. And then place that down onto there. And then the same again. This will probably be the short video, to be honest because these are just straightforward cards today and then this one oh, I should have used silver mirror not gold mirror never mind it's too late now because I just realised that the, ex the foil in on this one is silver not gold but it does not matter I shall remember when I do the next one to use silver ok so I'm coming in with these birdies I think they're doves, I want to call them. And then this little happy birthday there. And I think that's all for this one. And as I said, straightforward card. And I've already made the boo boo by using the wrong foil. Uh, Miri rather, and foil. that on there. Might have to put another little tiny bit. Oops. On there so it's got support there as well. I mean I could try pulling that card off of that silver off of that gold and putting it onto a bit of silver but I don't know if it'll ruin it. No, it comes off. But I don't think this one. Will. Oh yeah. So it's not stuck down properly yet. So I'm just going to put that to the side for a minute and move that to the side. So I'm going to have to re-glue all these. And I'm going to grab myself a silver bit of mirror this time, which I've got. 
whole stash because I'm so used to all my cards being um, gold mirror or gold foiling on them. I'm just going to cut this one down and then start again. <laughs> well, not start again, but just redo the mat and layer in again. So, I'm going to bring this in. Sorry if that blinds you for a second or two. Back in with this again. It's going to look better on the silver mirror than it would do on the gold mirror. So, just going to go over that again. Place that onto there. Bring my card back in and redo that. And do that. Place that on there. Hopefully it'll stand up. Yeah. So some of these cars look out a bit out when you do them. Okay, that'll do. And then a bit of tacky glue on this double-sided tape. And then this one is going to go. Just smack bang in the middle there, and then this sentiment is the last thing that's going to go on. And I've got a few little square foam pads here, use some of them for this one. I can't remember where I got these little foam pads from, I think it might have been. Um, I'm trying to think. Amazon maybe? So this little sentiment says happy birthday and I'm going to put that across there like so. Now I've got a blank bit here. I think what I'm going to do is come in with this little bird and then there's a little heart here. I'm just going to use them two up. So I'm just going to place this little square pad on these and then oh, let me put it on upside down place that one there and place that one just there so that's card number one done oh better show you properly first sorry so there's card number one it's just a normal seven five by seven bog standard size card. So then the next one that I'm going to come in with is going to be a six by six. So I need to score that. I think they're just slightly under the six, but for some reason they shouldn't be because these should have all been cut from a 12 by 12 piece of card. So therefore they should all be, when you cut them in half, they should all be six by six. Again, don't I? So I was doing an easel card with this one. So I need to do that at the three point mark as well. Now this can go away. Doing a normal easel card. For this one. 
And that one stand there at the moment. I need my trimmer. And I need that silver bit of mirror. Because now I need to do two notches under the six that way. Two notches under the six that way. And then this one I need it to be two notches under the three by two notches under the six. I've got a couple of bits of silver mirror left, not a lot. And then this one I'm going to come in with oops, scissors in the way. This one, where's my topper gone? I've lost my topper. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> so I'm going to come in with this one on this card. So I want this bit. So it needs to be four notches under the six that way by four notches under the six that way and then I want a bit of this which is going to be four notches under the six again and then this one's going to be four notches under the three Hopefully this comes off because I should normally cut it from that side because of the pad that gets stuck. But hopefully that will come off. Put that out of the way. No that's, no, that's the bit I need, isn't it? That's not the bit I need. Okay. So now I can come in and put all this bit together. And this glue comes out of this bottle. So all across the middle again. And that way. And then place that onto there. So this is going to be on the inside bit. And then there right and that bit goes under there where did my silver bit of mirror go now that I just cut oh here it is make sure this is the right one which I think it is yep <clears throat> so I'm going to come in with this and these four corners and then place that onto there This one, oh, Gordon Bennett, all purpose glue in the middle, tacky on the edges. Place that down there. Oops. Hopefully that'll dry in about a minute or two. And I'm going to come in with this topper. Obviously I don't need to go all the way to the top with this one. I'll cut that a little bit too big. Oops. I'm just going to place that there. A bit 
right there. Sticking very well on this silver mirror. Press it down a bit. Come on with this top half. Put a bit of tacky glue on there. There, like so. Let's see what sentiment I've got, especially for you. To a very special mum on Mother's Day. I might do that one, and then I have a Mother's Day card ready for next year. So I'm going to come in with that across there. So I'm going to use a couple of my foam strips. This one will act as the stopper. Get rid of that sheet then. Make sure I put it on up the right way. Not put it on crooked. There we go. And then for the next bit to cover that space up. I'm just going to come in with a bit of this border. Don't need a big massive bit. Cut it there. And I'm going to feather this, or whatever you call it. And then come in with a foam pad again, a couple of foam pads, peel them off, and from the top, stick them back on there. Couple of gems on these now. I've got some of these like butterfly ones, but I don't think they're going to work because the colours are not right. And I think oh, the blue one, oh, I don't know, the blue ones might bright, bring it to life a little bit more. I know it's all pastel, uh, pale, pale blues, but I think these will work. On this one, I'm not putting too many on there, obviously. Yeah, they look okay, actually. Not too bad. And there's just two on that one. And on this one, I'm just putting two, again, one in that corner. And then, oh, and then one in that corner as well. That's all I'm putting on that card. So that is two cards done with that. So I've still got that bit left. I'm just going to put some of my tools away because just put 
Some of my off cuts, which I'll use on later cards. A bit of gold, Miriam, just going to put you away. That other way, so I don't get you muddled up with everything else. And then bring in oops, what I have left from this making this. So there's the two cards there, standing one standing up. Oh, can't really see them going out camera shot. There you go. So I've got this bit of card left, I've got this bit of card left, this little tiny bit of card left and I've got one topper and two sentiments left. So one is especially for you and one is a sympathy card. And then the bonus that I got in this one, well I don't know if it's a bonus or whether I didn't use it on my last excuse me, the last cards that I made, so I've still got one sheet there and one insert paper as well which might come in handy on another card that I make. So that is what I've got left, which I'll make another card out of that but not on camera. So that is it for this video guys. Um, next time I come back I'll still be coming back with the True Blue so I've still got one more topper set to go on this one and I've got the porcelain petals so that would be the next cards or the bit, I'd probably be just two cards of that one because there's not an awful lot on this one there's two border strips, two big uh, toppers and then two um, have a lovely day, happy birthday, lots of love and for you and then a little butterfly so that is it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it um once again thank you for your support and all of you that subscribe and all of you that leave me comments so until next time take care bye for now